take a look at trends in software. With pull technology, a user states a need before getting information, as when a URL is entered in a web browser so the user can go to a certain website. However, this technology is not adequate for marketing certain products and services or providing customized information. People rarely request marketing information as an example. Push technology, a web server, delivers information to users instead of waiting for them to request the information to be sent to them. Webcasting is supported by many web browsers and is also available from vendors. With push technology, your favorite web content can be updated in real time and sent to your desktop or mobile device of choice. Push technology can be effective for business-to-consumer B2C and business-to-business -business B2B marketing as well. For example, a car manufacturer can send the latest information on new models, prices, and features to all of its dealers at the same time. Push technology delivers content to users automatically at set intervals or when a new event occurs. When users sign up, they specify what content they want, sports, stocks, political news, and so on, and consent to the push. They can also specify how often the content should be pushed. Push technology streamlines the process of users getting software updates and updated content. It benefits vendors, too, because by keeping in constant touch with users, they build customer loyalty. Application service providers, ASPs, provide access to software or services for a fee. Software as a Service, SAS, also known as on-demand software, is a model in which ASPs deliver software to users for a fee, the software for temporarily or long-term use. Users can also save all application data on an ASP's server so that software and data are portable. Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, NetSuite, Basecamp, and Mint are all companies that offer software as a service. Virtual reality, VR, uses computer-generated, three-dimensional images to create the illusion of interaction in a real-world environment. Stereo sound and tactile sensations enhance the feeling of being immersed in the three-dimensional real world. In VR terminology, the everyday physical world is referred to as an information environment. There are two major types of user environments in VR, ergocentric and exocentric. In an ergocentric environment, the user is totally immersed in the VR world. In the extracentric environment, the user is given a window view. Data is still rendered in 3D, but users can only view it on screen. The following are major components of a VR system. Visual and aureal systems are components that allow users to see and hear the virtual world. Manual control for navigation allows the user to navigate in the VR environment and control various objects. Central coordinating processors generate and manipulate high-quality graphics in real time, so it needs a very fast processor. A walker is an input device that captures and records movements of the user's feet as the user walks or turns in different locations. A cave automatic virtual environment, cave, is a virtual environment consisting of cube-shaped rooms in which walls are rear projection screens. One major obstacle for using VR technology is that not enough fiber optic cables are currently available to carry the data transmissions needed to a VR environment capable of recreating a conference. Virtual World is a simulated environment designed for users to interact via avatars. An avatar is a 2D or 3D graphical representation of a person in the virtual world, used in chat rooms and online games. According to researchers, there are new applications for avatars, such as role-playing in corporate diversity training, teaching, and for business conferences. VR is a branch of virtual reality that generates a virtual scene that is overlaid on a real object. 
The goal is to enhance the user's perception of the real-world objects that the user is seeing or interacting with. Augmented reality is similar to virtual reality with one distinction between the two. There is yet another type of virtual reality that falls between AR and VR called mixed reality, MR, or hybrid reality. In such an environment, it's difficult for a user to distinguish between real and digital objects. A diverse group of companies and organizations are using these apps in creative ways. Radio Frequency Identification, RFID, is a small electronic device consisting of a microchip and an antenna. This device performs the same tasks as barcodes, universal product codes known as UPCs, and magnetic stripes on a credit card or debit card. It provides a unique identification for the card or the object carrying the tag. Unlike barcodes and other systems, RFID devices do not have to be in contact with the scanner to be read. There are two types of RFID tags, passive and active. Passive RFID tags have no internal power supply, so they can be very small. Despite RFID's advantages, there are some technical problems and some privacy and security issues. RFID devices have been used by many organizations in the public and private sectors to offer access to facilities, systems, and efficient and effective business operations. A QR, Quick Response Code, is a matrix barcode consisting of black nodules arranged in a square pattern on a white background. It offers a larger storage capacity compared to standard UPC barcodes. Features include a high storage capacity, small printout size, dirt and dust resistance, readable from any direction, and compatible with Japanese character sets. QR codes can be read by smartphones that are equipped with cameras. A scanner app must be first downloaded to the smartphone in order for the camera to be able to read the QR code. You can see QR codes in magazine advertisements on billboards, restaurant menus, web pages, blogs, and social networking sites, even on t-shirts and sporting gear. You can create a QR code for free online. One way would be to use the Google URL shortener, with, which automatically creates a QR code for a web page each time a URL is shortened. Many are already used, such as wireless technologies and grid computing. Let's take a look at how these trends impact management information systems. Wireless Fidelity, or Wi-Fi, is a broadband wireless technology that allows computers and other devices to communicate over a wireless signal. WiMAX is a broadband wireless technology. Compared with Wi-Fi, WiMAX theoretically has faster data transfer rates and a longer range. Bluetooth is a wireless technology that allows fixed and mobile devices to transfer data over short distances, usually 30 feet. Generally, grid computing involves combining processing powers of various computers. Users pay for computing or storage resources on an as-needed basis in utility computing, similar to the way one pays for utilities such as heat and water. Cloud computing incorporates, under one platform, many recent technologies, including a variety of resources, that can be provided to users over the Internet. Infrastructure as a Service, IaaS, also called Hardware as a Service, HaaS, is a type of cloud computing whereby computer infrastructure, such as storage, hardware, servers, and networking components are delivered as a service. Platform as a Service, PaaS, provides a computing platform and a solution as a service. Clients use the platform and environment to build applications and services over the Internet. In the world of Internet of Things, edge computing is playing a major role. Edge computing pushes processing and data to the near edge of the network and enables timely collection, processing, and analysis of data.
Most experts believe that security is a concern when using cloud computing platforms, and users play an important role in its success. Nanotechnology incorporates techniques that involve the structure and composition of materials on a nano scale. Its use in treating heart attack and stroke victims is generating close attention in recent years. Researchers are developing nanocapsules for clot-busting drugs. Nanotechnology is also being developed to make computers much faster and smaller with more memory. New technologies, including nanotechnologies, will be necessary to bring down costs, improve efficiencies, and ensure the effectiveness of management information systems. Blockchain is a decentralized and distributed network that is used to record transactions across connected devices, such as blocks of data that cannot be altered. When they're recorded, those transactions are grouped together in blocks, which are then linked together to create chains, hence how the name blockchain came about. Some experts call it a distributed ledger that records every transaction with a high degree of accuracy. In a blockchain environment, the network is directly shared without a central administrator and transactions can be verified and processed independently. Cryptocurrency is probably the most popular application of blockchain technology. A cryptocurrency is digital money created from computer codes. There are several types of these cryptocurrencies available in the market. It's a peer-to-peer -peer operation that can take place between two parties anywhere, anytime in the world.